Oh, sh what time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. <laughs> you heard James, you know what your, your roommate's doing? <laughs> Choking the chicken. <laughs> Welcome back to Royal Goose. <laughs> Hi, James. Hi, Elliot. How are you doing? Hey, look, it's those guys. Aren't they called rats? <laughs> I had a pet rat once. Did I say that? You did? Yeah. Yes. Really? Yes, his name was Blizzard. Wait, wait, what? Yeah, it had a blue tail and it was white and it had red eyes. It was albino. You had a pet rat? Wow. Yeah. It, Probably when you were really little, Yeah, right? fifth grade, sixth grade. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That Blizzard was awesome. You. Yeah. Blizzard? Yeah, she was cool. I'd stick my hand in the cage and then she'd like run up my arm and go into my shirt and like put her head out <laughs> where like my neck is. Really? Yeah, she was cool. And yeah. I used to like build her little like houses out of cardboard box and uh, not toilet paper, but like tissue or paper towel rolls. Huh. She was awesome, dude. That's so cool. Yep. Huh. Then she got cancer and died. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it was cool. That's not depressing at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> yep, but oh, damn. <laughs> I had her for a couple years. Most rats die of cancer. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> then she got cancer and died. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I, li I, li I like the way you, you delivered that line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then she got cancer and died. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm just yep. the dooms right there. I don't know that I was that sad when she died, because I, I just knew it was coming. Was oh, like, okay, you were prepared? Yeah. I mean, she had a big old tumor. Oh, a big old sad. tumor! So, I felt bad for her. Mm -hmm. um, then we ate her for dinner. <laughs> Do not waste. Sure you did. <laughs> hey, this tastes like rat! <laughs> uh, I, wonder what, I, I remember the first time I ever had roast duck. Have you ever had duck before? Oh my god, yeah. It tastes like just like chicken, as far as I remember. I just remember Dude. it not being unique at all. Oh, I had roast duck and it was good, but I also had chilled duck once, and that was disgusting as fuck. Chilled duck? It was one of the worst things I've ever eaten. Yeah, we were flying to Italy. Uh, I went to Italy once, uh, and we got a fly on Miles, and it was the first time ever I'd been in first class, and not just first class, but first class in an international flight is fucking nuts. You get like your own little pod. It's so cool. It's like 2009, um, and so they serve like fancy ass shit. Like I couldn't just get a cheeseburger. No, I had to eat shit like chilled duck, and it was gross as fuck. It was so bad. Like biting into it. It was cold, because it was chilled duck, and uh -huh. two, the consistency was like, you know when you bite, do you ever bite ice cubes? I, uh, yes, and I try not to, because it yeah, hurts. Yeah. But when you bite an ice cube, you know like the point where it gives a little bit, and it just feels like soft almost, like before it cracks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. feel it like compressing? Mm -hmm. That's what it tasted like the whole way through, just kind of like a... It was so gross and weird and bad and tasted fucking disgusting. It felt like I was eating a, a freezing a freezer meal that hadn't been warmed up warmed up. Why would anybody want to eat that? I don't know. That's some fancy white people shit. I <laughs> I don't fuck with that, dude. It's gross. I was like, give me a hungry man, dog. Man, that is yeah. the duck. That yeah. Is weird. Yeah, man. It was gross as hell. Hmm. Jen, you ever had chilled duck? Oh, yeah, it was so bad. I'm curious. It's. I think it might be French, man. I think French people eat a lot of duck. Hmm. I'm looking it up. Chilled duck. Well, the place where I had roast duck was up in <sighs> Canada, so. Oh. <laughs> Not yesterday, mind you. It was yeah, like chilled duck. Ago. Is cold duck still made? Yes. Oh, that's a sparkling wine. <laughs> okay. No, I don't want cold duck. I just want chilled duck. Yeah, here. Chilled duck salad. Oh, man. Holy crap, that guy just murdered me. You got wrecked, dog. Oh, he just killed himself. <laughs> I'm gonna throw this exploding keg where Rayman used to be. Oh, I'm where he used to be. <gasps> Ugh, man, it was so bad. Zinfandel, I guess? Zinfandel. Chilled duck with Zinfandel sauce. 
Whatever, dude. Don't ever eat chilled duck. That's my fucking sage advice to you viewers. Chilled duck. Ugh. That's weird. <sighs> I would take a McDouble any day over that, but I love McDoubles, so that's like <laughs> stupid for me to say. Do you like McDoubles? Uh, yeah, they're fine. I mean, usually whenever I go to, go to McDonald's, I just get a double quarter pounder. Oh. I, I, I don't eat at McDonald's. So, a uh, half pounder? Uh, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Never thought of that before. Really? Um, yeah. Never thought of that before? Um, yeah, I, I was talking to my roommate about this, yeah. uh, about how, like, I generally don't eat a whole lot of fast food anymore, mainly because, yeah, like, I don't either. Because I, I don't want to, not only because it's not as healthy, but because, you know, global warming and all that stuff. Yeah. At least as far as what I've heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hoping McDonald's will start making plant burgers like, like Burger King does. Yeah. I, I've seen a couple other, uh, Taco Del Mar. Do you just not eat, like, that kind of food then? Like, even if you cooked it yourself? I, I, I don't know, man. Oh. I don't know. I, I, like, I still love burgers. burgers. The grocery store probably has to go through the same means to get the meat as, like, a fast food place does. Yeah. But it's depressing. They probably get like the cheapest meat from like cows who are forced fed in stalls and shit at McDonald's is my guess. Yeah. It's, uh... That's pretty shitty. Yeah. I used to think like uh Jesus. Sorry, I, I took over the conversation. What were you saying? I don't Your roommate know. was talking about something. Nah, nothing, no, no. no. I, I was going. <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ. Uh dude, yeah, I used to think that organic shit was just some like hippy dippy bullshit. Um, but now I try to get organic meat when I can, not because I'm like scared of GMOs, like I don't give a shit about that, more so just because, uh, like, I guess there's standards that when you eat organic meat they have to adhere to, and like I feel bad when I'm getting eggs and I think about the chickens who are like stuck in little cages their whole life and they just like get eggs, so I try to buy like free range chicken eggs. Where they're allowed to like live normal little chicken lives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, like, feel bad for them. If chickens and cows were to live out in the wild, it's not like they'd be able to. They wouldn't have very long lives, anyways, right? Because mm. like, it's not like they can really protect themselves all that much. Like predators no. will eat them yeah. pretty easily. Oh yeah. So I mean, but I mean, if humans are gonna raise raise them for slaughter eventually, they might as well at least have the healthiest, happiest lives that they can. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like. Fuck, have you seen the videos of the chickens uh, like, big mass farms like Tyson and stuff? I, I think so. I, I, just, I remember back in uh, high school, during this uh, film class that I took, there was a... Uh, we watched this part of this documentary called Food, Inc. Oh, yeah. And uh, there was just one shot of a whole bunch of baby chicks going up a conveyor belt and then falling down. Yeah. And they, they intent you can tell they intentionally shot it like that on yeah. purpose to make people <laughs> feel shitty about oh, it. Oh, for sure, dude. It, that's that's the power of filmmaking. Like yes, you, you, it is. you can use it to make the viewer Tell feel a, a certain way. You can use it to manipulate people. Yes. And, but sure. uh, yeah. So the short answer is yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, dude. Uh, it's it's fucked up. So I try to. But I'm also not like I'm gonna boycott eating meat. Cause fuck, man, I love meat. Here's here's a question it's I yummy. have for you. Here's a question I have for you. Would you ever like kill a cow yourself? Uh. Only if I absolutely had to. Yeah. It's uh, on my bucket list, dude. What? Yeah, no joke. I I want to go and kill a cow myself because if I can't bring myself to do it, I feel like I shouldn't eat meat. What? Yeah, because if if I'm okay with eating meat, but I can't kill the cow myself, like, you're just getting someone else to kill the cow for you, right? Yeah. So, like, that seems kind of, uh, I don't know, a little bit uh, hypocritical. If I'm okay with eating cow that someone else killed, but I wouldn't kill one myself. Damn. Wow. Holy yeah. crap. I mean, it's a little bit morbid and maybe a little fucked up to some people, but <laughs> yeah, seriously, but... It's, it's like on my bucket list. I feel like I should confront it sooner than later. Damn. Um, yeah. That, I mean, that's, that's one thing I've definitely thought about before. Like, whenever I go to the grocery store, uh -huh. I'm like, oh, look at all this meat. Yeah. Uh, people have to kill these animals so that I can have a yummy sandwich. Exactly, dude. Uh, but would I be able to do it myself? Exactly. Uh, should I do it myself? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember there was an episode of South Park yeah. where... Um, do you remember that that really old episode of South Park where... um. No, the kids went into the woods with Stan's uncle. You remember the hunter hunter yes. dude who wears orange? Yes. Apparently he's Stan's... Uncle Jimbo? Yeah, Uncle Jimbo. Yeah. I remember, like, 
stand. It is who speaks out of their speaking device. Yeah, yeah. I, I just remember uh, there was an episode where they they go out camping and he's like, "All right, Stan, I'm gonna give you this gun and you're gonna shoot that deer." And he just could not bring himself to do it. Yeah. And I was like, "Yeah, that's pretty relatable to me." Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, that, that'd be very hard for me to do. Yeah, dude. If it was a duck or something like that. Okay. <laughs> Fuck ducks. No, no. I'm just saying. If it was a bird, I don't think I'd feel bad at all. But Why? Why? I don't know. Birds are fucking dumb. <laughs> uh, and ducks, from what I've heard, ducks are very horrible creatures. They do very messed up things. Oh, yeah, dude. Ducks are evil. Um, okay, so I, some birds are very smart. So not all birds are really dumb. But like, like crows. Yeah, crow, crows are pretty smart. But there's even smarter birds, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but I don't know. They're not very smart. They're just oh kind of... Oh, my God. Did you just see that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, dude. Birds are fucking evil. You ever, you ever been on the wrong side of a ravenous seagull? No. Oh, let me tell you a story next time on Royal Goobs, dog. So, okay. 